Welcome to Competitor Swim, the world headquarters. We're the largest producer of pace clocks in the world. Sometimes we get calls from customers that are having trouble with their pace clocks, specifically the hands. So I'm going to quickly demonstrate how to fix hand issues as well as motor issues. However, if you have any questions, look at our sweet marketing. Just email us at sales at competitorswim.com or call us at 1-800-888-7946. Swim. So the first thing we do, this is your uh, clock, or this is your battery motor. We're going to put that on. This is a nice little vinyl washer that we put on the back of it. Just lift up the clock, put the stem of the clock through the hole. Easier said than done. There it goes. Now we put a washer, a brass washer there. Then we take this brass nut and put it over here. This is what fastens the clock to the housing. Get it snug. Then, if possible, not critical, but it's nice, get a wrench or some sort of tool so that you can securely fasten that. Now, the hands. This is probably the number one call we get. As you can see, these hands have a particular oval insert or hole. This matches up. The stem has an oval. So just don't jam it on. You have to match up. Just turn until it goes on naturally. Up, oh, and there it goes. I'll do that again. Don't force it on. It won't fit unless it matches up, kind of like when you're a kid with blocks. The oval has to go in the oval. All right, once you're there, you take this tiny little knurled nut. It's called a knurled nut. If you have fat fingers, this can be difficult, but you put it on there, and if it doesn't go on easily, then flip it over to the other side. There is one way to put it on. I got it on. You tighten it with your fingers as much as possible. Then, using little wrench, tighten it one more time so it's snug. That's very important. Make sure it's snug. Otherwise, you have, there's danger that the hand will fall off. Next, the second hand. You can see that it's got an encasing right there. This encasing goes on perfectly over the stem. Don't force it, but just put it gently over. As you can see, there's the stem. Put it gently over the stem and then push down vertically. And that's your hands, okay? Now, I rushed through that, so here's the finished product that should be secure. And there's a couple things I want to tell you also about the motor. When you receive your clock, you're going to see that the on off switch, it connects to the button up here. This is what turns your clock on off. This contact, there is a foil contact. This is the negative side of the battery. Make sure that the battery is securely fastened in between with the foil. That is critical, otherwise your clock won't work. Turn your clock on and off to test. And this is what we do when we do testing, so we know it works. Now here's the problem, a common problem. As you can see, the hands are getting pretty close to each other, and that can cause binding, which means the second hand runs into the minute hand. Trust me, there's no other option than this. We've explored throughout the world for better, we have the best motors, the best hands that you can purchase, and there's no easy fix for this. But starting from the center, press down on the minute hand. It's okay if the minute hand's touching the face. Actually, I prefer it. It will still move. It will still move. And by this, I'm creating clearance for the second hand so that it never binds or makes contact with the minute hand. Likewise, it's not necessary, but if you have really bad hands, you might have to bend up the second hand, but this is fine right now. There, now it's perfect position. I know this is a good clock if I can shake it 
and it remains intact. None of the components. And we actually, a competitor, before any clock is shipped, it goes through an extensive shake test for over a minute because we understand that that happens on the pool deck. So now, as you can see, it's going to go around. There will be no binding and your clock should work. Again, if you have any questions, call us at 1-800-888-7946 or email us at sales at competitorswim.com. I'm Jason and I'll see you in the next video. Bam!